Now we are going to look at form rotation being used to connect pairs of notes. Just like we uh, did a minute ago with the exercise on the surface of the fallboard, we want to find the motion that's free and easy. As I'm moving back and forth, the fingers are going to put down the notes. It's easy to get the, the idea that this motion alone is putting down the keys. But if my fingers are not doing anything, the tone becomes very unfocused and it's very difficult to control. In a sense, the fingers actually lead you to the next note and the forearm follows around. Go to three and four. And once again, find the easiest line up between those two fingers where it's just effortless to move and then your fingers are going to put down the notes as you make this motion. When it's right, it absolutely doesn't feel like you're adding any extra motion. It's almost more that you release your arm into moving. There is an awful thing that people used to teach, which is to put a, pen, a penny or a nickel on the back of your hand and then not allow that to move as you play. That's actually locking the arm and not allowing it to move in the most natural way. What we want to do is get rid of those nickels and pennies and instead just unlock the forearm and allow it to move. So four and five. You can first find that lineup that's nice and easy over those two notes. And then your fingers are going to put down the keys. Both those motions are working together. And one and two. Find the easy line up between those two fingers. Once again, the fingers put down the notes. We can also look at any, of, any pair. One to three. Find a lineup that's easy. And one and four. One and five. Two and five, you can explore any combination that, you're, that you'd like. But first, you always want to find the frictionless, most easy, effortless way of moving over the surface, and then have the fingers add in. One thing that's worth mentioning that we've discussed is these 